And it is an important reminder to make sure that your holiday decorations don't result in a tragedy at home. We got some great information here from Fox 61's Lindsay Kane. She joins us from the Mobile Fire Safety House in Hartford. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Really important information here. I'm with Captain Jose Rivera with the Hartford Fire Department. And in front of us, we have every example that you could need, just about every example you could need uh, to talk a little bit about some fire hazards that could be in your home this holiday season. So we promised we'd get to the candles first this time, and that's what we're going to do. But I'm going to turn things over to Captain Rivera just to talk a little bit about some fire safety tips um, regarding candles over here. All right, so one of the things you want to look at in the candles is you want to make sure that they're not too close to anything that could burn. In this case, we have it right next to some uh, curtains. So you want to make sure you have at least a three foot uh, barrier. You also want to make sure that the candles are in a sturdy container. You want to make sure that they don't topple over uh, the way this one kind of does. You also want to keep them three feet away from uh, children, pets, who may end up knocking them over. Another consideration is to maybe have the battery powered uh, candles. Uh, a lot of them are looking a lot like the ones that are real, so they've come a long way. That's so important too, especially because we know that one in three fires in the month of December is actually caused by candle use. Correct, and that's especially now with the holiday season, they tend to use it for decorations. Uh, some people do use candles to decorate their uh, Christmas tree. That's something that you shouldn't do because that's a huge fire hazard. Uh, this Speaking of the Christmas tree, we have some fire hazards on this tree as well. We do. Uh, so this one right here is first things first is you want to make sure that the uh, tree is not blocking any exits. You also want to make sure that it's not placed next to anything that could burn. In this case, we have it close to a space heater that's keeping this uh, unit warm. Uh, we also have the gifts that are also close to that space heater, so you want to make sure that it has that three-foot uh, clearance as well. We also have that space heater plugged in into one of these multi-adapters. Uh, That's another no-no. You want to make sure that the space heater gets plugged directly into an outlet. These are good to use. Just make sure that they are uh, labeled with a, uh, a good testing laboratory. You also want to make sure your wiring is good. In this case right here, you have wires that were at point uh, cut, so they use duct tape to uh, piece it together. These are real, you know, basically inexpensive, so you can just replace it. Um, and you also don't want to put too many items on this uh, uh, and speaking of the lights here as well, you also want to make sure that lights you're having inside your home are meant for indoor use and outdoor lights that are outside your home, outdoor use as well. Correct. So for uh, they have the indoor outdoor lights, which are okay to use. Uh, in this case, we have in uh, indoor lights here. You don't want to use the outdoor lights. Those tend to warm up a little more because they're meant to be outside, which could then cause a uh, fire hazard here with one of these trees. And lastly, one of the most important things that you can have is right over here in your home. Talk a little bit about what people need to know. So you want to make sure that the smoke alarms, uh, you test them. Uh, twice a year, make sure you change the batteries. Um, if you check at the back of the date here to make sure that they're not older than 10 years. If they are, replace them. Uh, these right here are the lithium powered uh, smoke alarms that are good for 10 years. So once the 10 years are up, just chuck them and get a new one. If you need free smoke alarms, if you live in Hartford, call us. We can install free smoke alarms in single, two family and three family properties in the city of Hartford for free. Great, well thank you so much, Captain. This is great information, important tips to keep your family and of course your home safe this holiday season. Back to you guys.